Okay, everyone, the heart. <clears throat> so we went through in class that we've got four chambers. We've got the atria at the top, and then we've got the ventricles near the V at the bottom. The atria is where the blood enters, and deoxygenated blood comes back and goes into the right atrium, then goes to the pulmonary artery. Arteries carry blood away from the heart, A, away, veins towards the heart, v, well, W, V. And <clears throat> then we've got the left-hand side that's going to pump blood to the rest of the body. Now, great diagram by our flow, but... This, was, this should be thicker because the left-hand side of the heart is a lot thicker. And that's what we're going to look at now. We're going to look at some lambs' hearts. Okay, move, let's move across. So these are lambs' hearts. They're similar in size to human hearts, maybe a little bit smaller. And you can see, look, there's quite a bit of fat on them. Um, and we can see on this one, just zoom in here as well. <clears throat> Get a bit closer if you want. Um, this is the coronary artery. This is the artery that actually feeds the heart muscle itself. This is what gets blocked in a heart attack. It's nothing inside the heart. It's this or a, a portion of it. Okay, now, first thing we have to do is decide which side is the left and which is the right. So I'm going to take this one. Sorry, a bit of blood. I've cleaned them. And we're going to see. Look, these are the atria. Can you see that? They're really thin. They're very thin and they're very flimsy. Now these are sold for eating. So we normally see that butchers cut these off because nobody wants to eat a lot of blood vessels. I mean, you could argue who wants to eat a heart. Um, I think they're okay actually, I have tried them. So we put our fingers down the sides and we can feel that this is a really thin side and that's very thick. So that is the left hand side, so that's thicker. So this is looking at the heart uh, front on. Now what I'm going to do, I've not really got any dissection stuff with me, so I've got uh, my boning knife and uh, my wife's tweezers that she doesn't know I've nicked. Oh, I better give them a good clean after. Um, so I'm just going to cut down the right hand side. Actually, I'm just going to cut through and let's see what we get. It's a very, very... Uh, ham fisted dissection this. Okay, so what we can see here, I'm just gonna cut it off completely. So this is the left hand side of the heart and this is the right. We can see here um, the atria and we can see these heartstrings that if I pull them out, you can see that there's a, there's a flap there. That is a valve and that's on the right hand side though. That is the remnants of the tricuspid valve. Okay, now we can also see on the left hand side, a lovely big valve and that is the bicuspid valve. And these uh, heartstrings, they don't pull, they just stop it, the valve from inverting and going in the other direction. Okay, I've kind of cut this blood vessel here. This blood vessel here is actually the aorta. And you can see it's not muscly, it's really just elastic. The blood's under such high pressure there that the aorta has to stretch and then recoil with the heartbeat. Now, I've just got another little thing here. Um, this is another heart. Okay, and I've, I've nearly cut through it. I'm just gonna really chop through it. And look, if we look here, come on, we've got that blood. <clears throat> if you look at the gaps here, this is where the blood would be in the left ventricle here. I've got all this muscle here. And this is it where the, the blood would be in the right ventricle. Look at how thin that is compared to the muscle surrounding that, it really goes to show um, the difference. And that's because the left-hand side's got to pump all the way to the uh, rest of the body, whereas the right-hand side only pumps to the lungs, which is right next door. Last thing, last thing, this is gonna be a very quick one. 
Uh, we can see here there's some of the blood vessels and you can actually, if you know the right hand side, so I know that's the right hand side because it's thinner. If I then go through and push my finger up, hello. So this must be going off to the lungs. So that must be the pulmonary artery. Whereas this one, well that one, blood vessel is gonna end up in the left hand side. So that is the aorta. If we had a bit more time in class, we could look at it. And once we're back, we will do. Final thing, we can see that this is like shimmery, shiny, yeah, on the outside, and it's a bit duller on the inside. And that's because there's actually a, a membrane that surrounds the heart called the pericardium. Let's just see if we can peel it a bit back. Bit tricky with these. Yeah, can you see that there? Yeah. So <clears throat> all organs are surrounded by a membrane and all organs are surrounded by a bit of fat. This is called visceral fat, okay? Every organ will have a bit, but it's very dangerous if you have too much. Okay, so it was a whistle stop tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and we'll be back for some more heart fun soon.